Neptune, friends. In the previous video, we pushed a lot of software to our Android. Now we're going to look at settings, configuration items. I'm not so excited about that, unfortunately. I don't think you have so much interesting options. But let's go right into it. So we are in intune.microsoft.com. We go Devices. We go Android and Configuration Profiles. So I don't have any. So we have the option to create a profile and we got a few options. So if you have followed my previous video, I've spoken a bit about these. The Android device, man, de device administrator is legacy. Android AOSP is for countries who aren't under Android Enterprise Agreement. And most countries are, a lot are here. But if not, then yeah, you have to choose this one. If not, Android Enterprise is the modern. So that's what we're gonna do. Then on the profile type, we have two different one. We have fully managed or personal owned. If you follow my videos, I enrolled as personally owned. You have nearly the same things. For example, if you create the Wi-Fi, you are more option. And I was thinking, I'll just show a device restriction. I'm not going to save this one because I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, restriction, just going to show the options you have here. So you can, for example, block, uh, what can you block? You can block camera. So banks usually like that because you don't want the employees to be able to take a camera and take photo and movies of the sensitive data, screen capture. If you have, if you block important documents to be saved, people can take a screen capture and get a lot of restriction like that, which is probably good for um, banks and security firms. Uh, I, I will not do that in this video, but you can definitely do it. So I create a new profile and go Android Enterprise. And I'm maybe more interested in, let's set up an email profile. Unfortunately, it's only two application works here, but um, set up GPN uh, Gmail. Oops. I got US keyboard. French. Uh, set up. Uh, Gmail uh, email account setup or something like that. So the app, they have only two, nine work or Gmail. Let's say we want a Gmail. Uh, we actually want the uh, outlook.office365.com. The username should be the email address, which is the same as the use UPN name, user principal name, should be all cap uh, should be capital there though. Uh, email address, well, it's the same as, well, let's take the SMTP, which is the same as the, well, I take the, both would have worked there. Authenticate, authentication method, username and password. Let's have uh, SSL, uh, amount of email, let's, do one month of email. And let's add a group. Uh, my experience is when you add a group here and then save, it's gone. So we'll see if that's happened again to me. So you see, I have assigned it to this uh, uh, group, which include my um, Android device and create. Let's see when it's finished here. So we'll have to do a refresh before I see it. And now if I click on it, and let's see if it's uh, include group. It's empty. So I don't know if it's just my tenant or if you get it as well, but don't worry, you have not went crazy. It's probably a bug. Um, and then say, now it's going to work. So now it shows up here. Uh, let's do one more. Again, I don't see this so useful. Let's do a VPN or Wi Fi. Let's add Wi Fi. You get more if you have a corporate, but the uh, add GPN SSID, you can't do too much. Um, GPN uh, Wi Fi or something like that. So, configuration you have basic or enterprise. Uh, oh, maybe you have more for enterprise. I'm just going to have a basic. My SSID is just GBN, it's not a hidden network. So, it's just going to give that SSID to all machines, uh, all um, Intune devices. So I'm still going to add this group, even though I know it's not going to take. 
at least I know that, so I don't see them wait. Why it doesn't apply? Well, because it's not targeted. So let's go back to SSID and let's uh, include group here. Let's add a group, GBN all Android devices and save. So this can take a little while. Let's go to devices to make this video a bit more interesting because these settings aren't so fun. Yeah, this is how I know mine was personally own work uh, own uh, profile. That's why I select that. If you have a corporate, you should select that as the type or if you have fully managed. Uh, let's go Android devices. So we can speak a bit about the options we have up here. So. I'm going to do a sync here now because uh, I wanted to get the MDM uh, uh, profiles. I don't think it helps. We also have send a custom notification. Let's send something. Um, new uh, Y5 YBN. You can, because we sent that as a setting, right? Configuration profile. You can now connect to GBN uh, Y5. And we send that, and it's going to be sent to the um, Android. Uh, I hear the sound. I think I might already have got it. Yep, here. So that flashed up very quickly. Uh, I don't think we got the settings yet. I'll just we'll look that in a minute. So new remote assist uh, assistance session. Not paid for that, so I don't have that. Reset passcode. Passcode. I don't even have a passcode. Uh, remote lock. We'll do that at the end of the session and can delete it. Wipe, I don't know why I can't do it, probably because I'm a personally owned. So if I was at work, I could probably um, delete the work part of it. And the retire is uh, the normal one, you retire the device. So let's see if we go under the device Android configuration profiles, if we got any success yet. For example, this one, it doesn't look like it. Nope, we're a bit too fast. I'll still look, this one was the first one we created. Nope, I'll pause the video and retake it once we got the results. Okay, it took a not long time at all. Uh, got success on both. So if you look at SSID, yes, we got success on that one. And for our setup GBN Gmail, we got success also. Uh, the easiest one to look for success would be the SSID, the Wi-Fi. So let's go to our uh, friend here and go settings, settings, and open settings here. And then if we go network, by default it got an Android Wi-Fi. It should be secondary one now. It said save network, so it got GBN also, saved by company portal. So uh, this one, uh, I don't want to, um, we're not, it auto connect, but there is no GBN here. So of course it doesn't, it can't connect right now, but at least we pushed the profile. So it worked. Again, I don't see so much useful for this, unless you're building a kiosk or something and you really want to lock it down, then this is probably gold. Okay, so it successfully got our settings. And we, if we go Android devices, hopefully that shows up uh, also on our own device if we look uh, device configuration. Yep, they have both been successfully uh, applied. And again, I don't find this so useful. Uh, for a kiosk, if you just have a scanner, you want to disable the camera for security reasons and such, lock it down, then yes, go for it. But other than that, um, not, not my favorite, but it's probably very useful to uh, uh, create some uh, uh, configuration profiles. So we have them here. In the next video, we're going to look at compliance policy. See you there. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great day.